everybody. This is Under the Arc Sports. I'm Eric. And I'm David. And today we are talking about Mizzou's bowl game. They are headed to the Music City Bowl to face the Iowa Hawkeyes. Before we dig into that, make sure you find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, so we just found out Mizzou and Iowa Music City Bowl in Nashville. It's a rematch of the 2010 Insight Bowl. Those of you who remember that game out in Tempe. Um, yeah, Iowa is ranked number 15 in the uh, college football playoff rankings. They're six and two. They lost their first two games, and then they won six straight to end the season. And so, Dave, that it's a very interesting matchup. Yeah, it, it, I really am going to be kind of interested to see how this game plays out. One, because you're talking Big Ten, SEC, there is a talent disparity um, as well as just you're looking at mid-range SEC team against one of the higher-end Big Ten teams. Uh, I know the Big Ten East is not the – or excuse me, the West is not the strongest. Iowa has – quite a few games against teams who aren't the greatest. So that might be a buffer for their wing column. So who knows how good they actually are. I can't say they've been really tested much. What do you think? Uh, well, yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, you look at their, uh, at their schedule. Um, they lost to Purdue. They lost to Northwestern. Um, who, by the way, won the, that division. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you, then you take a look at the rest of that div- division, Big Ten West. Wisconsin finished two and three. Nebraska was, I believe, three and five. Illinois fired Lovey Smith. Minnesota was 500. It, it's not a strong division. And their, uh, their crossover games in the East, they played Michigan State, who they beat by 42 points. And then they played Penn State. So not exactly murderer's row of the East. Um, yeah, it's like you mentioned with the, uh, with the bowl affiliations. I think this is a byproduct of the SEC having such killer bowl affiliations is that you have a mid-tier SEC team against a Big Ten team that's number 15 in the country and finished second in their division. So, yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. If, if Mizzou goes out there and dominates, I think it's a statement for the SEC. Now, another thing to think about with this game is there's about well, – it's on December 30th, right? So there's, what, 11 days in between Mizzou's last game and the bowl game. How healthy are they going to be? Uh, they went, like – into this Mississippi State game completely beat up. Their defense was in shambles. They yeah. had to they had to start Sean Robinson in the in the uh, defensive backfield just because they didn't have enough guys. So I yeah, mean, I, I was in the third quarter, or whatever it was. I noticed number twelve back there. I'm like, wait, twelve? Because the only twelve I could think of was Brady Cook, the backup quarterback. Right. And then I got a look and like, Sean Robinson. What? Well, and, and to, from to his on, credit, to his he credit, he. He had a pick and almost a second pick and then four tackles. Yeah, credit him. Um, But, yeah, that's going to be just an enormous factor in this game is just the health. Um, Defense especially, but also offensively. Jalen Knox did not travel to Starkville. So what's his deal? Figuring that out. Um, One thing I do want to speak to is a lot I saw I've seen online there's a lot of initial reaction from people being kind of pissed off or frustrated that Mizzou is not going to Florida uh you know the Gator Bowl or the Outback Bowl everybody seemed to think Mizzou was going to play Northwestern in the Outback Bowl um well the way the SEC is doing it is they kind of go in pecking order and once it gets to your spot in the order which is done by record you get your pick. So what it means is Mizzou almost certainly chose the Music City Bowl over 
the Outback Bowl or the Gator Bowl, right? It's because, you know, you look at the teams like, like Alabama's in the playoff, Florida is in the Cotton Bowl, you have Georgia in the Peach Bowl, um, who else? Auburn is in the Citrus Bowl, A&M's in the Orange Bowl. Those are the only teams with picks ahead of Missouri based on record. LSU had the same record, but they're doing their self-imposed bowl ban, right? So Missouri got to choose ahead of Ole Miss. So if Ole Miss is in the Outback Bowl, it's because Mizzou chose the Music City Bowl. And Ole Miss might be in in the Outback Bowl. I'm not even sure of that. Well, and I was going to say, they may have chosen the Music City Bowl, uh, because of how close it is to Missouri. Um, you have to remember there's a lot of Missouri players on the roster as well as Texas players. It's a much easier travel destination for those families if they're allowed to go to the game. Now, I don't know what the COVID protocols are in Nashville, but I would assume they're allowed to have fans there. So, Yeah, so I was perusing their Twitter account. And the number that, that they put out was around 14,000 fans will be allowed to attend. What that so, means in terms of allotments, I don't know. So when you look at the players' families, at least they're able to go and travel, and it's not a far distance, and they're more more than likely able to make that game. Yeah, and I think a lot of people I, – I think they don't have an appreciation for how much that means to the players to have their families at the games. The, the Rose Bowl got moved – out of California into to, uh, Texas so that there can be fans there. Notre Dame threatened to boycott the playoff if they were sent to the Rose Bowl in California and families were not allowed to attend. That's how big of a deal it, it is to these players and teams. So that can't be underestimated. And the other thing is recruiting. You know, Mizzou hits uh, Memphis a decent amount. Uh, that's why there was – excitement within the program about going to Memphis for the Liberty Bowl a couple of years ago. Um, but this, that Kentucky, Tennessee, Tennessee's not far. Nashville's not far from like North Georgia. That's three, three hours. Um, so it's kind of a central location for a lot of the South, really. Well, it's not uh, even that- particularly the Northern end of the South, if that makes sense, where Missouri is, it, you know, it's still kind of close. Well, I was going to say, yeah, if you look at St. Louis, it's only five hours away from Nashville, which is yeah. just a quick drive. So even some of the recruits who they're trying to pull could get invited. I don't know. I don't know recruiting wise if they're allowed to invite recruits. I don't know how that works, but they could, they could possibly make the trip down to watch the team down there as well. So yeah, I think it's a good pickup for Mizzou, honestly. Yeah. I mean, Here's the biggest thing to consider. It is September 26th, day before the season starts. I walk up to you and I offer you, Mizzou's going to go five and five and play in the Music City Bowl. Are you taking it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So think in big picture. December 30th, Mizzou's playing in a reputable bowl game, right? Well, you can't ask for much. Well, really, you can't ask for anything more than that for year one of Coach Drake's program. Well, and just to throw it out there, Vegas had Mizzou only winning 2.5 games this year. A lot of people only picked them to win two games. Yeah, uh, I did. No, I, I did to you. You nailed it. You I called five, five and five. five. Now, now, the wins were a little off, but I still called five and five. <laughs> yeah. So I feel really happy about that one. <laughs> yeah. Now, Dave, one thing that uh, you were talking to me about a couple minutes ago was how this game being on December 30th is a big day for Mizzou Athletics. Yes, because also that same day, Mizzou starts conference play in men's basketball against number 10, Tennessee. So that's going to be a really good matchup that night as well. And that's actually a home game for Mizzou. Yeah, so there is potential for that to be, you know, an awesome day for Mizzou sports or it could be real ugly either way it'll be fun to sit down and have Mizzou sports all day exactly (laughs) 
Anyway, that's all we have for Under the Arch Sports today. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram pages. Take care. Bye, guys. See you next time.